Tomato, chilli, basil and crumbled sausage make a mouth-watering combination. Punchy flavours that work together so well. And this recipe is ready in 30 minutes. What's not to love? Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Using sausages in this recipe rather than minced beef or pork adds extra flavour to this dish and it also means it's a cost-effective meal for the family. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by cooking the pasta. Now I've got 300 grams, which is about 10 and a half ounces of dried rigatoni here, but really you can use any pasta that you've got in your cupboard. Add the pasta to a pan of boiling water and cook as per the pack instructions. While the pasta's cooking, heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large frying pan over a medium to high heat. Then add in a small, finely diced onion, a finely diced red pepper, two cloves of minced garlic, and a chopped red or green chilli. Now cook that for about five minutes, stirring often until the onion starts to soften. Now if you don't like it too spicy, you can leave out the chilli. Now remove the skins from about 400 grams or 14 ounces of good quality pork sausage. And you do this just by slicing along the top of the sausage and then peeling back the skin. Discard the skin and add the sausage meat to the pan and fry for about five to six minutes, breaking up the sausage meat with a wooden spoon until brown. Next in goes two tablespoons of tomato puree or paste, quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of chilli flakes and one teaspoon of oregano. Stir everything together, then add in a 400 gram or 14 ounce tin of finely chopped tomatoes. Stir again, then bring to the boil and simmer for five minutes. This recipe, plus 99 others, is available in my new book, It's All About Dinner. I'll leave a link below so you can take a look and order your copy. OK, now the pasta should be ready. Drain the pasta, reserving a cup of the pasta cooking water. Add the pasta to the pan with the sauce. We're also going to add in 60 ml, which is about a quarter of a cup, of double or heavy cream and a small bunch of basil leaves just torn up and thrown in. Heat for a further one to two minutes to heat through the cream, then turn off the heat. Stir it all together to combine and if you want to loosen up the sauce a little bit, then add in some of that reserved pasta cooking water from earlier. Serve topped with some more fresh basil and some grated parmesan. This is such a great recipe with loads of flavours, but it's also really easy to change it up and make it your own. You can make it even more spicy with more chilies, add in extra veggies, change out the sausage for flavoured sausages, or even use vegetarian sausages for a vegetarian dish. See you next time. Mm -hmm.